drive, 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 drive back. Searching for first ascents is kind of like being Harry, Ron, and Hermione searching for horcruxes. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it, and there's a lot of pointless wandering around in the woods. Not gonna say who in the group was the most like Ron though. here in northern Sumatra is mostly focused on the west side of Lake Toba, um, which is the largest volcanic lake in the world. Don't worry, filled with water, not lava. Made it a lot easier to get around. Right after the Asahan River Fest, we started making our way to the west side of the lake to try and find some first ascents, but turned out traveling in Indonesia with kayaks is a little bit more of a challenge than had been expected. Well, we're, uh... Headed down to catch a ferry at the bottom of Samasir, get where we're going, and about five minutes into our drive, we've stopped at the mechanic. I don't, um, I don't think we've been driving five minutes yet. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. We've, we've stopped at the mechanic, though, for some unknown reason. We're almost out of town. Yeah, here's why you leave spare time. So it took us a few days, um, some boat rides, some truck rides, some buses, some cars, but eventually we made it over to the west side of the lake to Bakara, which was the town we were kind of basing out of. Once we got to Bakara, we managed to rent a sweet little house which we could situate out of the whole time we were there, which was great. And from there, we immediately went to go check the first waterfalls we'd seen on Google Earth. On our first scout, they looked great. From Google Earth, they'd looked awesome. But unfortunately, once we dove further into it, we found the landing on the last one was a little bit shallow for our comfort. I don't know if she goes, but... the climbing gear to get into the ones further upstream uh, but luckily we were still able to paddle a sweet little fun class 3 run out through rice paddies all the way into Lake Toba which was an awesome start to being in Bakura. Soon after that though, misfortune started visiting our house. Seth and Ben got really sick, kind of taking turns between lying down and moaning and running to the bathroom. Still pooing chuck lava, but... Uh, I almost got gored by a water buffalo. Things were not looking up for the team. In between bouts of Ben and Seth's sickness, we were still able to head over to the next drainage over and bag a really awesome run in the Simmora, which was about a mile of steep technical boulder gardens. Uh, that was a really great run to do.
Um, but unfortunately, both of them quickly regressed into sickness after that, and we ended up waiting, doing nothing, in a very small house for days while children stared through all our windows. It was great. On the last day in Bakara, me and Seth decided to rally back to the Simmora to check out some waterfalls we thought might be upstream of the section we'd done uh, now that the water was a lot lower. Uh, we ended up finding some awesome stuff. Great way to spend Seth's 30th birthday and end a great trip to Northern Sumatra and the West Toba area. Uh, especially if you like avoiding some really scary rocks. Could you say all this wandering around in the woods and then explaining why we were wandering around in the woods is unnecessary exposition? Probably, but could you also say it set the scenes for another more epic sequel to the Horcrux that is our search for an epic first ascent? Maybe, I don't, yeah, sure, why not, yeah. <laughs>